Welcome back to the show. Now, it, with us in the studio, we have Fadi Amoudi, the founder and CEO of IQ Fulfillment. Welcome, Fadi. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your journey and about IQ Fulfillment. So uh, IQ Fulfillment is a logistic technology company that specializes in the supply chain and logistics sector. I moved, honestly, to Dubai in the end of 2018 just to start this startup out of Dubai and take it to the entire regions. We have three interlinked business units. Mm -hmm. So we have IQ Fulfillment, which is our operational arm. And over there is the first robotic fulfillment solution in the entire MENA region. So we have robots on the ground floor that supports and enable e-commerce sellers. We have over 300 e-commerce sellers under IQ Fulfillment currently right now, and we're supporting them with their entire e-commerce journey. On the other hand of it, we also have our technology company that is IQ Robotics, that powers everyone that wishes to transform from the regular brick and mortar into the new digital era, like Brands for Less Group and many others that we're transforming currently right now. So funny, you're providing a solution. You're providing an innovative yes. solution, a tech-driven solution for companies. But are you, is it just for big companies? Is it just for big uh, multi-international companies? Or do you work with clients across the board? So we work with clients across the board, and that's why we really built IQ. If you have no means to invest, you don't need to invest. You can come on board with us in IQ Fulfillment, and that's our fulfillment center for you. Zero upfront. You pay as you go, you store your products with IQ Fulfillment, we pick and pack with our robots, we deliver to you, and we take care of the entire logistic requirements if you're an e-commerce seller. So realistically, our solutions are there to support both SMEs, B2B entities, government entities, and so on. If you wish to transport, we're ready here to transform more. Right. So. so Fadi, I'm interested. Firstly, I love the concept of it. Mm. Um, secondly, the robots. Yes. What is the battery life of these robots? And when it's run out, how long do they take to recharge? So that's a very good question. <laughs> so we have different kind of robots, right? So there are AGV AMR robots, there are multi-shuttle robot systems, and, these, and there are the yellow robots that you saw at Brands for Less. Okay. So more or less, it takes them three minutes to charge, oh, wow. up to three to five minutes, up to three to four hours, etc. Mm -hmm. And they do go power charge by themselves. So realistically, we don't program any robot to charge. They go, have a quickie charge, and that's it. Okay, very good. Ferdi, it's so interesting uh, and smart, the fact that you've combined the robotics aspect with the logistic aspect. So you're not just providing the hardware, you're providing the network as well. Would you say it's easier or harder sorting out logistics with machines than with human beings? So it's definitely easier if you have a big scale, of course, right? So we're here really to support in building solutions. So automation, robotics give you high, higher throughputs, definitely zero error rates, so it's 99.9% .9 efficiency. Do they go on strike at any point? They, you know, <laughs> always, always. They're always they're striking, always okay, right. So we always went okay. live in, go the wrong way. In, in November 2019. <laughs> Honestly, during the pandemic, everyone's really suffering and everyone has like, had a lot of challenges. We did not close a single, single day. So we supported all these e-commerce sellers that we had and onboarded during that journeys. And funnily enough, most of them were SMEs to start with. And now they grow to become success stories. I'm sure one of you put a COVID mask on one of the robots at some point. A hundred percent. So there were COVID masks all over the robots. Uh, we even named the robots, basically. So, as long but, as they were social distancing. hundred percent. By the way, we have just 25 people in our warehouse. We don't That's have more incredible. on the floor, just 25 people. We do have 45 robots on the ground floor, of course, mm. but more 25 people, people can do up to 5,000 orders, 6,000 orders a day. Incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. So Fadi, I went on your website and I was so intrigued that it said, scale your business by 300%. Yes. So talk about the scalability factor for businesses in the UAE. Maybe businesses that don't have the space or the ability to scale without the space. So we can definitely, so what is required from you is one username and one password. Mm. And we get your products, we store them in our fulfillment center mm -hmm. and we take care of big pack shipment, but not only for the UAE across five countries where we're in currently right now, which is UAE, KSA, Kuwait, Oman, Bahrain, and we're opening Qatar uh, next month. Mm. And we ship to you with over 100 countries. So realistically, the only thing that is required from you is to really sell your product, market it more, and leave the heavy lifting for us. Incredible. Ferdi, we saw your logistics and your robots in action over at Brands for Less. What's the next big project that you're excited about? So we, we can disclose that we also signed with Brands for Less another project and a solution for them in Riyadh in their own facility. But we have a couple of projects currently that we're also going to be uh, launching soon in UAE itself. One of them is a big 3PL provider that is owned by a government entity in UEE, and that would be around 120, 130 robot solution. 
But above and beyond that is we could forecast that we already deployed over 650 robots on the ground floor of Dubai in the past two years. We have a pipeline of a thousand plus. And what I can share with you is that we will also deploy next year two robot solutions in Europe. Amazing. Ferdi, I can't wait to see you next time when there's that robots is. here replacing us. Yeah. Uh, I hope that never questions. happens. Sure. Sooner than that, I think. <laughs> and thank you so much for being on DXB today. Thank you. Pleasure having you. Now, for today's Spotlight, we're talking about an Amazon fulfillment coach here to share her experiences in the e-commerce world with the Amazon Seller Society. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Crystal and I'm the founder of Amazon Sellers Society. We support entrepreneurs, brands and businesses that are passionate about selling their products online and in particular on Amazon. There's been a lot of milestones, uh, you know, uh, but let's talk about the recent things that have happened to us. So we set up an office in Europe to try to provide services to sellers that are based in Europe, but we want to invite them over to the Middle East. So because of that, we were also able to be enrolled in Google for startups in the European campus. And we also were recently, we became part of the certified Amazon service providers. And we're excited because we're basically one of the only companies that's based in the Middle East to be part of this global organization. Well, Dubai is um, a growing market and as an e-commerce company and as a company that specializes in doing business online, that's exactly what we want. Obviously, you know, it may be, uh, it may be a surprise when I say uh, uh, Dubai is a, is a growing market, but for the e-commerce space it is. So it is the ideal place for us. Not only that, but we've got the great ecosystem of entrepreneurs and other startups that can provide us a lot of support. You know, it's a great ecosystem. It's a great, it's a great uh, place to be in order to grow your business for sure. Amazing. Yet another example uh, of e-commerce being used to its full potential here in the UAE. Right. It's time now for the roundup. What have we got for us? Ooh, so we have a new Dubai-based consumer app called Mimojo, combines offers and savings from favorite hotspots in the UAE to get up to 35% cashback. It's now available only in the UAE. It's free for the first two months, followed by a monthly subscription of only 10 dirhams. I do love a bargain, guys. What do you think? Very similar to the entertainer app. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. No. Um, so... Memoji is also great, but Memoji is more of a cashback. Right. So we're more, you get the offer then and there on the spot. So what the entertainer is, we have the most valuable deal in the market in the buy one, get one free, and you redeem that offer then and then. So think of it as we're a lifestyle company that's on an app. Um, Memoji has a great tech um, platform where they will get the discount, which I believe is between 10 and 20%, and then there's a cash back at, at the end of the month with them. So I've got a question, because, you know, big focus for us on, on, on tech, and you spoke, to, you know, very eloquently about when Entertainer went digital and one of the first to, to do it in the sphere. And yet, you know, and, and they, what do they say about imitation is the greatest form of flattery, etc. Of course. And there are many mm -hmm. pretenders out there at the moment. There are so many deals available. There are so many companies uh, prov providing their own apps, their own deals, etc. A lot of people would have said that tech sort of took away from the original deal, a deal is a steal, etc. Mm. But has it, has it been a curse or a blessing for sort of taking deal offers to more people? Yeah, look, I'm a really big believer that people actually want the deal, not the tech. Right. Yeah. So um, would you rather buy one, get one free at Wild Waddies or Chili's or wherever you'd like to go or a desert safari? And you're on there, I, c I call it like the Kareem or Uber app. You want to get on there, you want to... Um, redeem the offer and you want to get off. Mm. You can also browse, but you actually want the savings. You don't actually really want the tech platform. Some people might, but at The Entertainer, we really stick in our lane and we do the buy one, get one free. You're on the app. So our tech might not be as great as some other tech companies, but it's user-friendly, you know what you're doing, and you save thousands of thousands of dirham. Yeah. I, I just think that this, this city, this country has got so big. I mean, you think of mm. when the entertainer launched, 2001, mm -hmm. and you think how far we've come, and 
and there is there is so much space for so many deals to be available out there and obviously they're going to cope and come in all shapes and sizes so i reckon there's room for enough for all don't you i agree can you keep track though of all the deals that's the one problem i do have every time you walk into a restaurant every time you walk into a golf club every time you walk into a petrol station do you have the app I don't know. Do I have the app? I'm That's the person. problem. They have a lot of different apps. So you have to really get the app that suits you. So you can't really have 10 different apps because you can only use one offer at a time. There's rules of use to them all. So you really have to choose your favourite and generally it'll be the one that saves you the most money. Mm. But it's a very good point actually that you bring up, Tom, around loyalty and all the loyalty apps and the loyalty points and the loyalty schemes. How does the entertainer keep and retain its customers and keep that loyalty without it being, you know, in your face? Yeah, I mean, I think with us, we're a tried and tested product. We've been going for 23 years mm -hmm. and we've delivered mm -hmm. you know we put 1.3 billion dollars into the economy every year Incredible. so that's it's a lot and we have fantastic merchants on our app we have a selection of restaurants to attractions to beauty to hotel stays to fitness so there's really something for everybody there and we just stick to the buy one get one free yeah. I, and i love the fact you know it's getting personal as well and by that i mean i mean obviously we've been hearing from Fadi about Robots that only need three yeah. hours sleep at night, etc. Not that we're worried or anything like I that, know. people. Not that we're looking over our shoulders. The robots will be serving us soon. But what you're sort of saying is, you know, it's time to get back in front of people. It's time to get personal again. Yeah, I really like that human connection. And we're a, a social company, but we generally are social because you go out for dinner, you go out with your family, right. you're, you're actually interacting with other people. And that's one thing I love about the entertainer. We drive people to merchants or attractions mm -hmm. at the same time they're interacting with other people as well mm. and saving money <laughs> uh, more from the original entertainer herself in just a few moments time uh, donna benson is our guest co-host here today but plenty more also on the show let's see what's coming up matthew amlo editor-in-chief of arabian business joins us shortly brands for less innovative robots meet the founder tofiq kridi Plus, we've got Robbie Williams tickets to give away. Not Robbie Williams himself, but tickets to go and see him. <laughs> uh, that's all coming up a little later on. Do stay with us.